both of them. But I always remember one thing that, that I, I was at Fourth of July celebration in Stillwater when I was a little kid. And it was night, and they had fireworks, and one old boy let out a yell. It was the happiest Fourth of July I ever seen. And I bet I've seen 500. <laughs> <laughs> I was just little kid then, but it always stuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, were you raising the same crops down here as you were up by Stillwater? Well, we didn't have any alfalfa up there. Really, that, that was more of a wheat, wheat country than I was up there. Did you raise wheat up there? Little, well, yeah. Did you help in the wheat harvest? No, I was too young at that time. Okay. Thank you. When did you begin working for the post office? Uh, March the 12th, 1917. March the 12th, 1917. And I ended it uh, November the 30th, 1955. Had a little. Vacation coming. In. I got paid up for the first year. Yeah. Um, why did you still begin working for the post office? I don't know. It was just uh, a vacancy for a room carrier. And I went to Spoko, there's three, four around Manford, went down to tough examination to Spoko. And I was thinking about going to Dakota. And on town, and the postmaster called me in and said a note for me that I'd won the job. So, first, until I just used the buggy. So, then I ordered me a mail wagon to made pure Illinois. And the factory up there made them the regular mail wagons. Windows in front that drop down with your lines just come under and then sliding door on each side. And but I used the buggy till, till I got that. Did you have to buy the mail wagon or did the government pay? No, I had to buy it. So at that time, I think it was around two hundred dollars. What the mail wagon cost? Two hundred dollars? About two hundred dollars. I remember that. Um, how long was your route? 24 miles when I started, but they added on two or three different times. It's mileage. I'd backtrack in places. It is in the bend of the river and out west. Uh, the last year I carried it, I had keeped on route to Manford Bulls. I'd go uh, third part of my route down to the Hayden place, go on Keystone, serve that route, and then come back and finish my Manford route. I one that is buying it up for the lake to change the thing. Um, during the war, World War One, how many boys around here were killed in the war? I don't recollect during that just how many killed. Do you have to deliver the message to the family? Uh, no, not personally, I didn't have to do it. How'd they notify the family in those years? Well, I, I'm not sure of that because I didn't have any in my family personally, you yeah. know, that, that lost it. Mm -hmm. Flu epidemic. Oh, my, that was bad. Um, um, my wife's mother died. Turned out to be epidemic. 1918. Did many people around here die of the flu? Uh, there were a few. 
What were some of the medicines they were using at that time? I don't know. I don't Did know. you have the flu? Yeah, but not bad. Mm -hmm. But I, I had the flu, but not bad. Mm -hmm. Armistice Day. Well, they celebrated that quite a bit, Armistice Day. Did you? Well, I presume I did. I was still carrying the mail, so yeah. yeah. What day was that on? No, it was November 11th, but what day of the week? I don't know. Something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. mm -hmm. 1920s. Of course, you said they had prohibition around here. Is that when they were hauling in all the whiskey and everything in the late teens and twenties? Yeah, absolutely. It'd been uh, it was, there used to be saloons in the East on the day, and then when Prohibition come along, by there, then they would put like it and ship. They could ship it in there, and, and then they, and then they bunch it up and order it on other people.